Down the right field line, and it's down. Darwin Barney with his first major league hit, and it's a double. Congrats to Darwin Barney. I'm a quarter Japanese, quarter Korean, and uh, the rest of me is, you know, all kinds of white. For me, the stereotype that I'm breaking is the one that I gave myself. You know, everyone gives themselves stereotypes where uh, they give themselves boundaries. You know, and and for me, I always, I always thought, oh, I'm not big enough, uh, I'm not strong enough. You know, there's some big guys out there. Um, you know, so I just kept working hard and and you know chased it. And uh, fortunately, I'm here, and uh, you know, I'm trying to stay. After just one full season in the majors, Darren Barney is not only the Chicago Cubs' starting second baseman, he's being looked upon as a cornerstone for the franchise. One of five children, Darren grew up in Beaverton, Oregon. He learned to play sports from his father. He grew up playing sports. Um, he, uh, he played college basketball. Um, you know, at 5'6", he was a point guard, you know, and uh, that's tough to do in basketball, being that short. So uh, he was my coach in all my sports, and, um, you know, he really had that influence on me. I grew up playing four sports, five sports my whole life. Um, and baseball was one of the sports that I really excelled at the most and I fell in love with it. Um, you know, and I, and I just went from there. After leading his high school team to its first ever state championship, Darwin starred at Oregon State. As a team shortstop, the Beavers won back-to-back -back College World Series titles in 2006 and 2007. In 2010, Barney was voted to the College World Series Legends team joining such greats as Barry Bonds, Will Clark, and Robin Ventura. Here's the throw to the plate. He is out. What a relay from Darwin Barney. Along with Darwin, there were four other players of Asian ancestry in the Beavers starting lineup. Second. What a turn by Joey Wall. You know, it's pretty special. Uh, you know, we had all kinds. We had, you know, Hapa Alley's like me, and uh, we had a Hawaiian kid, and we had a full Korean kid, and um, you know, that's just, that's just how it was. It was fun, you know. Uh, there was one day we all were one through five in the lineup, and we thought it was pretty cool, so, um, you know, I take a lot of pride in that. He also takes pride in his family, which often travels to watch him play in Chicago and on the West Coast. My mother's father, who is full Japanese, and my mother's mother is full Korean. Yeah, you know, when I was really young, I always thought I was Hawaiian. Um, my mom's dad remarried to a full Hawaiian, and uh, we went to Hawaii, uh, you know, at least once a year, you know, and, uh, you know, that's what my culture was, that was what I thought it was, and, uh, you know, to this day, it's, you know, it's still a place that I like, I have a lot of family there, and, uh, you know, so the more and more I grow up, I learn more about myself and where I came from. A 326 batting average in April earned Darwin National League Rookie of the Month honors. He also takes pride in his fielding. His spectacular catch against Atlanta helped end Dan Ugla's 33-game hitting streak. A catch by Barney! Darwin Barney robbing Ugla! This game is built around pitching and defense, and, and for a guy like me especially, I like to focus on the defensive side, and, and uh, you know, so I take pride in that, and, and I think it's a lot of fun making plays. He stayed with it, made a heck of a play. Darwin is not just a natural when it comes to baseball, but playing piano. He plays by ear and writes his own music. You know, my parents kind of forced it on me at first, and uh, you know, after I was done taking lessons, I kind of fell in love with it uh, on my own. And uh, you know, started listening to some CDs and heard some stuff, and I was like, man, I can play that. And so now I play everything by ear and uh, just have fun with it. But for now, he's having the most fun playing baseball for the Cubs. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, you, you set your own boundaries on yourself. Uh, in life and in sports, it, it's all the same. Uh, you know, people are their own worst critic, and, you know, that's, that's very true in, in life and sports. You know, so, you know, don't set boundaries. Uh, you know, I try not to set my goals too low or too high. Um, just set your goals day to day, and uh, go from there and try and have as much fun as you can. Boy, can't do it any better than that.